Hi, Merry Christmas. I have created many of these videos, meaning I've made two. The first being how I used to do my makeup when I was a hoe, and then how I used to do my makeup when I was a hoe part two. The extreme edition. And you guys seem to really like those videos, and you know what, I like making them. They're a lot of fun. It's nice to just dip your toe into something new every now and then, get a bit lit. Um, yeah. In that video, I explain that I have been through many, many, many phases. I am a moon, I go through phases, and, um, well. I went through a semi-emo phase where I would listen to emo music, I would try and be kind of emo, I bought weird emo shoes like this, tried to do the whole black thing, however, I was like 12, so makeup wasn't really my thing, but I would always try and go for an emo look as best as I possibly could with the limited resources that I had. 2012, like, Tumblr emo girl, like, hairstyle like that was always my aesthetic. I literally took a picture of that to a hair hairdresser one time I ended up with something that looked more like I got caught in a house fire and my hair burnt off but that's fine didn't really get what I wanted but there was always like one particular aesthetic I was always trying to achieve and um, that was pretty much that today I'm going to be recreating how I used to want to look back when I was going for my emo phase and I'm gonna be using a picture of Marina Joyce for inspiration <laughs> feel like she's the epitome of 2012 emo tumblr girl vibe aesthetic before before I get into that video, I know I haven't been particularly appealing so far, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you may click that button down below and subscribe. Also, YouTube's been doing this thing where it doesn't tell people when you upload videos anymore, it's kind of annoying. So you can click that little bell and it will make you get notified. Well, actually, scrap that. It will send you a free Lamborghini. <laughs> Do it. Um, yeah. Leave a comment down below if you want to know if any more variations of this video. If you want me to continue to recreate these monstrosities. Yeah. Um, so first. <laughs> Let's put my hair somewhere else. And let's remove the existing face dirt that is on my face with extensive amounts of coconut oil because it just, it just does it faster. Okay, great. I have a fat spot here. It's really annoying me. Okay, so essentially the vibe I think you're going for for this look is pretty much just a very whitened out face. So I'm going to get a very white coloured beige foundation and just bleh. I also think quite a lot as well. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm just trying to embody what 12 year old Kira wanted. <laughs> oh, I just spray foundation everywhere. Okay, well this is a lot more than I thought. <laughs> And I'm using a brush and not a beauty blender, so like none of it is getting sucked away. Loki, pretty sure that some of those emo Tumblr girl wannabes did, in fact, use this much foundation. So I'm just gonna roll with it. it. To be honest, beauty gurus in 2017 use this much foundation. I'm just embodying the beauty guru side. Why do I look like I should have killed myself in 2008? So this technique isn't really working because it's just making this soggy. I didn't want to have to whip this out mainly because I'm lazy and I haven't washed it and that's kind of embarrassing. But I guess I'm going to have to now. Okay. Next I'm just going to uh, heavily conceal my under eyes to get rid of my under eye circles. I mean my uh, crippling anxiety and insecurities and... This just represents my love for Fallout Boy, yes. Hardcore rock. I am literally so whited out right now that I feel like this could be racist to white people and I'm white. This is a very interesting process. But oh no, was concealing enough? Hell no! We also- I can't do this. Take my makeup away. It also had to be whited out to the furthest extent. What are you doing? Get out! I'm filming a video! Now, the extreme whiting out is vital for a reason. You must really put emphasis on the fact that no you do not leave your house ever you are extremely vitamin a b c d e f g x y z deficient because all you do is you stay inside the curtains closed no sunlight ever touches your face because you're inside listening to hardcore screamo all day and being sad about things that everyone else finds enjoyable in addition to that, makeup, it doesn't matter if it's cakey, it doesn't matter if you look like a piece of bread. You know why? Because you don't actually go outside. <laughs> you are a recluse and you have no friends. Stay inside all of day and you can just upload pictures onto Tumblr looking like this. I can't believe this is generally like what I wanted to look like. Like this was my like goals.
this poor brush is seen a lot. <laughs> okay, I think I am whited out enough. Okay, things that are vital in this look are the sparkly in the corners. That is some next level in a corner sparkle. I think the most vital part of this is the liner. So I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> I think I lift the lid off it. Oh. oh, I need this to make fun of people with. <laughs> that backfired. Okay, new plan. Black eyeshadow. Wow, that, that, why is that so good? I mean, they're uneven, but they're emo. And then there was this whole thing where like the eyeshadow would start here. You can really tell I know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. I feel like I've never tried this hard before. Why am I being really good at makeup today? Someone explain. It could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. And I'm not going to try and perfect it because I definitely know 12 year old Kira would have thought, wow, goals, aesthetics, so cute. I feel like I'm literally just living my childhood dreams that I couldn't live out vicariously through myself right now. That's, that's weird. <laughs> the next step is the eyebrows are not allowed to look like they belong to your face, meaning they pretty much just had to be painted on. Aesthetic. Ooh, the lipstick. Another final point. Yup. And just in case you want to take it the extra mile. And then I would have lived for this hairstyle. Um. Okay, this is officially tops the weirdest thing I've ever done. This officially tops the weirdest I've ever looked on this channel. Um, I'm really sorry that you had to look at this. I should probably leave now. Let me know what you want to see next. Don't subscribe. You don't need this in your life. It's come a long way. Okay, bye.